I'm Kathleen Henderson from Roots and Boots and today I'm going to show you how I grow my broccoli under a row cover tunnel. So I love homegrown broccoli but I've had a lot of trouble keeping it alive because there are two types of caterpillars, two types of butterflies that lay their eggs on brassicas like broccoli, cauliflower, kale, cabbage, etc. And the only way I have successfully been able to grow broccoli is to protect it with a row cover. Now we get a lot of wind here on our property and so it's been a little bit of trial and error over the last few years. But a couple years ago we landed finally on a good solution after experimenting. And I'm gonna show you that whole process, um, how we make our hoops, what kind of row cover we use, the trick is to use row cover that is heavy enough to withstand the winds for us, but light enough to still let enough light and rain through to the plants. So like I said, we finally landed on the best solution and I've got a couple of tips and tricks to share with you. So I actually filmed some of the footage that you're gonna see in this video last year or maybe even the year before but I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps and stages and show you the whole process. So here is the process. First of all, I like to prepare the bed. We refresh the bed with compost. First, we pull any weeds that need to be pulled and then refresh with a thick layer of compost. And then for broccoli, because I'm planting little baby seedlings, plants into the compost, we go ahead and add a layer of wood chips right on top of the compost. So we've got our compost that I'm gonna plant into and then we have the wood chips that will serve as the mulch. And then when I plant the broccoli, I just kind of push aside the wood chips and plant into the compost. So that is the first step, is to prepare the bed. And then we get out all of our materials because once I actually plant the broccoli, it has to be covered right away because the cabbage white butterflies come out pretty early and by the time the broccoli goes into the ground those butterflies are already out and I do not want to give them any chance of laying eggs on the broccoli so the bed is prepared and then we get out all the materials we use conduit half inch conduit we use rebar to secure it into the ground we use uh, row cover I will at the moment it escapes me the weight of the row cover but it, it is important so I will put that down in the description for you and then we use a special clip to hold the row cover on and then we weigh the edges down with rocks as you can see and um, also the water lines so I lay out my soaker hoses before I plant as a guide so I know where to plant the seedlings so that they all get adequate water. And um, another tip is to check the length of your row cover, maybe even ro roll it out if you can, if it's not too windy. You need enough at each end to really weigh it down and secure it. Almost every year, if I put my hoops in first, I wind up having to reposition the end hoop or maybe even the last two hoops on the end because I have made my row longer than my row cover can accommodate and still have enough material at each end to sufficiently secure it. So that is a tip that I've learned the hard way is use your row cover as a guide or after you've done it a few times you can measure and know exactly how far apart your end hoops need to be. Um, so then once you have all your materials out the next step is to pound in the rebar at every spot where you want to hoop. So our row is about 50 feet long and we have one, two, three, four, five, six hoops. So that's six pieces of half inch conduit and then 12 rebar rods. Um, two feet is ideal for the rebar, but you need them to go far enough down into the ground to actually secure your hoops. And then also part of the other end is gonna need to go into the conduit. I plant the broccoli and then we get it covered with the row cover. We use our clips to secure it and we use 
rocks because we have plenty of rocks and old bricks and that's how we weigh ours down. Now, if you don't have a lot of wind, you might not have to go to such lengths to secure your row cover, um, but we get crazy winds here, like up to 40 miles an hour sometimes, especially in the spring when my broccoli is growing. So we have learned the hard way that we need to kind of go overboard on weighing this down. We are meant and see what works best for you. I prefer to be able to easily take either side of the row cover off. Um, I learned that the harder it is for me to get in there, the less likely I am to get in there and weed and also harvest. So what works best for me, I've learned is once my broccoli starts growing is to harvest once a week. That feels doable and I have help on Saturdays. It's great to have a helper or two to quickly get that row cover off. I do all my harvesting, you know, into a bucket or basket or whatever, and then we cover it back up and, you know, then it's good to go for another week. That's also one reason why I like to put a thick layer of mulch around my plants is because, practically speaking, it's just hard to get in there. I, you know, I don't mind weeding and I systematically, routinely am weeding in my garden pretty much every day during the growing season, but it's a lot of effort to get into the tunnel and so frankly I really don't do it very much. What I do is just give it a good thick layer of mulch and then the broccoli is kind of on its own for the season because it doesn't grow, you know, by the time it starts warming up the broccoli is finished and then we'll pull it out. So it's not like it's going to be here for months and months during the growing season and it starts out when the weather is cooler and so there's just there's not as much of a weed presence earlier in the growing season. Um, so that has worked well for me if I give it a good thick layer of mulch and then once in a while like when I'm harvesting I'll pull out you know bigger weeds that I see and um, that is pretty much all the maintenance I do during the broccoli growing season. Okay so my previous footage from constructing our broccoli tunnels in years past has been lost. I'm not sure if I can recover it. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through the steps since we've already constructed our broccoli tunnel for this year and show you what you'll need for this. Just a few basic supplies. You need rebar. So the first step is to pound in the rebar just with a hammer. Keep in mind that the farther apart you place the ends of each hoop, the lower the top of the tunnel will be. Broccoli gets pretty tall. In fact, by the end of the broccoli season, my broccoli is like maxing out the space here. So pound in the first rebar and attach your hoop. The hoops are half inch electrical conduit. They work perfectly for this. They're bendable, they're very sturdy and durable, very long lasting. And so you pound in your first stake and then you insert this, you, you fit this down over that first stake and make sure it's secure. And then next, you're gonna pound in the second stake. So for instance, you would pound in this rebar and then put the conduit down over it. And then over here on the other side, you pound in the second rebar and bend the hoop around and fit it down over that rebar. And then that's your first hoop secured. You wanna check the length of your row cover. So you actually need to construct a row, place your hoops so that the hoop distance from the first hoop to the final hoop is significantly less than 50 feet because as I mentioned, you will need extra material, extra row cover at each end to be able to gather and secure. Again, this is what helps it stay secured against high winds, which is essential for us where we are. This is what works well for us. I hope it's helpful for you. If you and that is how you can make a tunnel with row cover to grow broccoli or other brassicas and protect them from pests.